What's up? This is Jacob Tutorials, and today I'm going to teach you how to brute force SSH logins in um, Kali Linux. So, first, what you want to do is you want to open up Metasploit Framework MSF Console. So, here we have Metasploit running. You want to do use auxiliary scanner just to see what um, what some of the users are and then do show options it will show threshold you know user file so I'm going to set my user file um, to the one I have made on my desktop all you need to do is make a leaf pad document and add it to add one add the user file add the user list once that is set you can run it oh yes wow. Okay, now actually I do remember that I need to edit my file here because I changed it a bit. Let me see, open terminal, c slash root desktop. I'm going to nano my new servers file. I'm going to add root to that and I'm going to close that out. That will be the, that will be the file and I'm going to let me see what it is exactly set user file to users now run the following options fail to authenticate let me see actually oh I know what I need to do here I'm sorry it is root run here we go it's good to start checking scan here let's give it a second so see it found the user root which is usually the user you want to be as so cool now that we have that we can go to our next we can use auxiliary scanner SSH slash ssh underscore version to find out the ssh version for future exports all you're gonna need to do is pretty simple all our hosts set it set the ip we like to attack this can be 192.168.9393.128 show options or you can just run it because there really aren't any options on this. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> this misspelled our hosts. And there you go, it gives you good stuff, but we're not gonna mess with that right now. Now we're gonna actually get to the meat and bones of this operation here. But basically we are going to um, do what we're gonna do, boy. So we're gonna show options. So you can see what options we need. We're gonna use auxiliary slash scan slash SSH slash SSH underscore login. Show options. And what we're gonna do is we're going to just do um this is going to be a brute force, but we're gonna use a word list, so it doesn't really matter. But I'll show you what you need some of the options you're gonna need. Use set to blank passwords in order to enable blank passwords paste stop on success so we'll stop doing it once it's successful if it takes a while you have to go do something while it's going that could be very useful set our hosts 
VPN192 or whatever your IP that you're attacking is. Remember, our host is a, is a remote host. L host is a local host. Then you can set the username to the username you found earlier. You set it to root because that is the username we found. Then you want to set the password file, kind of like your word list. Copy. But our password file is at is right here. If you look, CD user, oh, nano user. A wasp BWA here. Um, that is the password to this machine. Set pass file. And now what you can do is run. Can just start the brute force attack. Connection time out. Yes, okay, so hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I put the wrong IP. 192.168.1.93.16. What is it? 192.192.192. Yeah, 192.168. What is it? Hold on. 192. <sighs> sorry about this. 192.168.93.128. 93128 Run. Just going to start the brute force. Could not connect again. 1268. Uh, what am I doing? Hold <laughs> on. I don't know what I'm doing here. You see, set. No, I know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. One nine one two one six eight. Oh my gosh, this is this is bad. Nine two one six eight point nine three one two eight. We run it. Hopefully this will work. Success. Here we go. So look, we have now gotten the password. It is root. The user is root and the password is OWASP BWA. So now what we can do is SSH root. Where is it at? 192.168. One, three, one, two, eight. That should work. Yes, I know what it is. Password is a wasp BWA. And here we are. We are inside. So thanks for watching. Please like, rate, subscribe. If you need any help, I know this was kind of a confusing tutorial, so please comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, I might have to redo this one, honestly. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Peace.